Right behind me on the desk, I have moved my Lego City so we can get a better view of that. But today, I aim to be completing this, tiling off the pavement and being done with the city part and moving on to some bigger Star Wars mocks, which I will talk about towards the end of the video. So stay tuned to see what is coming up. There will not be another chance to take a look at the city as it is right now, because as soon as this video is done, I'm gonna start breaking down one of the towers so we can start work on the next chapter. As you can see right now, I think the city is just a bit plain, especially on this left-hand side. We've got three towers that are very, very square. And had I known about all the issues we would run into last week with the top part on the roof, check out the video to see exactly what I mean. If you have missed it, there is a playlist with every single city update and this city is almost a year old already but i definitely would have added a few more curves so we might revisit that tower once we've worked on the other three or four to go around it but these towers are all going we are turning the city into a star wars world it's still going to be called taylor town in honor of my fiance who Honestly, I couldn't have built half of this without even the Tatooine Tower. All them bricks were separated and sorted by her, so it's really a massive help. But the sea's looking a bit plain since I got rid of all the minifigures around it. So what I'm hoping to do over the next few moments, and I'm sure you have a few clips on screen of the progress and adding all the minifigures, is to add a few different plates and tiles and just cover this because at the minute, there is a difference in height of that one stud. So I'd like to get that a bit flattened out and then pack it full of minifigures, visiting the cantina, visiting the Lego store, visiting the central perk, visiting the knockoff subway and also the aquarium. But now let's take a look at all the different towers we have. Starting off with the furthest leftmost tower, we have Emmett's house, which as you can see, resembles his dream house. I believe from the second movie. And once you pop off the lid, which again, no studs keeping that lid on, you can see we have a double decker couch. We also have a few of the popular characters from the first two movies. We have a bed, a TV, very simplistic looking. And honestly, that probably works for someone like Emmett. The door does also open so you can get a different look inside. As we move on to the second floor, these are all quite simple structures. Here we have the villains bar, which is created, sort of inspired by the how it should have ended villains bar. We did have the emperor at the bar, and then there's just a bunch of tables and chairs with that snooker table, pool table, and again, really simplistic design. We do have a, another door, which was hidden away on the side, and I used up all my red bricks for this, so I cannot wait to break this down and have a few more dark red bricks in my collection. We'll take a look at the ground floor in just a second because it is connected to the second tower, which I think was meant to be animal themed. You can see on the top, we've got this chicken coop here and also this greenhouse, which I'm very happy with how the design turned out, but that was quite an easy floor to put together. This one was a little more difficult and I took the Lego fish tank set and turned it into a whole floor. So we literally had a fish tank as a floor. I will be rebuilding this fish tank for my fiance and putting it up elsewhere around the Lego room. So this will have it set back once again. Will also probably be an early modular to get rid of. Now taking a look at both of these ground floors. You can see we have the knockoff subway on the left and the aquarium on the right. The aquarium's slowly been falling apart with all the dolphins and sharks jumping out of their positions, but they were only held on by a stud. We get a better look at the subway if we look through the side bit here. You can see we got a few Harry Potter characters on the right, which didn't quite fit into their seats. We also have a few other minifigures. Originally, we had a bunch of DC minifigures lying in the back wall there, which is also removable because originally that was the front face of, I think it was actually a corner of the Lego city, but this will probably be the first two towers to go because as I put this back together, I definitely think the tower on the right 
is the better out of the two. And I think we'll start off with the sitcom tower first because some of these instructions are available online. First off, we have the Big Bang Theory flat. I don't actually have any Big Bang minifigures, so perhaps that's something I can look at for the top of the tower if this tower is staying but it's really cool that there are two points that you can take a look at because this corner does slide out and again this was back when i was trying to make all the fronts removable so you could actually see inside each of the modular chunks the next one is monica's flat which you can somewhat see it's kept the shape from the outside in a 16 by 16 and i really like the fact that it is different and doesn't take up that full cube. And then the Big Bang Theory flat also fits on top because of that chunk I have taken out. But I've kept most of the detail for a Lego modular and I actually really quite like this style of building. So if you do want the instructions for this, you can purchase them in a two pack with the other flat that came in the same set. I think it was called the Friends Apartments and that is the lads flat over here which again a lot more messier than monica's flat but we've got all the references that were included in the set including the tabletop football and even a sign on the door so if you do want to check these out head over to rebrickable alternatively they are also on the members discord and once again the central perk is part of this bottom so we're going to be moving on to Emmett's Lego room. We've already seen Emmett's house, but you can see through this roof, we do have an Emmett minifigure sat in the dark, building Lego, listening to some tunes with some plants on the side. And I don't know if there's really an easy way to access this, but for Emmett, he does get in by using the ladder, which is at the top of what was originally going to be the Lego Museum. Now, as you can see, these right side modulars are a lot harder to pop off than the ones on the left and that's taken a whole chunk out of the modular and that is because these used studs to connect each modular floor whereas on the left all we did was told off the top and added these corner plates here which just sit into the next building stop them wobbling around and is a much easier connection yeah the lego museum is empty but i did have a few different i think originally it was brick figs then it was sig figs this is a minifigure that my fiance made of herself and this is a CMF that we think looks really like her. And all of mine have been moved to the front of my monitor. So keep an eye out in certain videos at the desk and you'll probably see all the little me's standing around. But that never really became anything unlike the floor below it, which is the top floor of the Lego store. We've got some build and minifigure stations. We've got the pad wall. We've got a giant red bus because who doesn't love a giant red bus? We got this nice flower mural, which is just a bunch of spare parts I filled up a pad box for. And as I said, that is the second floor. The ground floor does have, you can't even see it down there. It's this London Lego mascot. I can't remember their name, but it's the mascot of the Lego Leicester Square store. We've also got the Lego signs on the top, which are double sided using some old stickers from one of the Lego City truck sets. We've got the giant red brick because, of course, we do. Every Lego store needs a giant red brick and a few display stations. And through the window is the Lego truck that I got all these stickers from. So that's really helped fill up the shelves underneath the stairs. And again, if you've been to the Leicester Square store, giant Big Ben, you can't miss it when you walk through. We also have the central perk, which the instructions are also available. Rebrickable Discord, you know the drill by now. And I haven't spared any details from the original set. So I'll probably end up keeping the central perk almost indefinitely. I'll just be moving it around as we need the space in the city. I'll probably move it to a different shelf unless we have the space to expand the city that much that it all fits on the one shelf. But now you've seen how the Lego city looks right now. What's next in terms of Star Wars mocks and the future of this shelf display? As I've said, I would like to make a few more Star Wars modulars here. So this will be the last time you see all the towers in a row. And I'll show you off right at the end, the city in its display unit, fully told off and everything polished up because it is going to be a sad moment for any of you that have watched this series for the full year. We started this because there was some gift with purchase, I think for dreams or something. 
I bought some LEGO Roads, decided to build a city, and it's not been the most popular series on the channel. In fact, these are some of my least popular videos. I don't remember the last time I posted a city update, and it wasn't a 10 out of 10, but it really doesn't matter because I'm enjoying this display so much. The fact that I get to bring Star Wars to Taylor Town is gonna look awesome in the future. Just wait till you see what I've got planned. But we do have the other shelf. There is another mock somewhat in the works. Over the next few weeks, there's gonna be a few more reviews and minifigure scale models, which all tie in, most of them at least, tie in to a massive mock. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this happen. It's probably gonna cost me a lot, so please do drop a like and subscribe to push this video out. The ad revenue is really not gonna cover even half of this next display. But I did also promise a sneak peek for the LEGO City, so as you're seeing all of the images flash up on your screens, keep an eye out for a certain minifigure appearing who does link to the next planet we will be exploring. So thank you so much for watching. Check out all the videos on screen now, and I hope you do stay tuned for what's yet to come. It's gonna be amazing.